Good morning, Mr. White. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Just call me Jerry. Well, hello there, Jerry. I'm Dr. Smith. I'm Jessica, the pharmacist. I'm Debbie, the respiratory therapist. And I'm Elijah, the physical therapist. So, Jerry, I want to remind you on how we conduct our patient care rounds in the unit. You and I spoke earlier about how the entire team comes to the bedside and meets with the patient and the family. Um, we will discuss our plans for the day, and we want you to be a part of assisting us in uh, meeting our goals for your wife. We value very much your contributions to this team. So as we begin our conversation, please feel free to ask questions at any time and let us know any information about Linda that could assist us in including her in her own care. Yes. Okay. Jerry, Linda is stabilized for now and the team is going to discuss plans moving forward for her care today. So let's walk through the ABCDEF bundle to guide us in our management decisions. Vicki, please begin with your brain roadmap. Gladly. Jerry, we'll be using some acronyms, so let me explain the terms that you'll hear. We use the CPOT to assess Linda's pain and assist us to manage the pain. The RAS score is used to determine her level of sedation, and the CAM ICU is used to assess whether she is becoming confused. So Linda's CPOT score is 1, ranging from 3 to 5 last evening. Her RAS target is negative 1 to 0, and her current RAS is negative 3. She is CAM ICU positive. I stopped her fentanyl drip as part of her SAT. She had been placed on the drip at 50 mics per hour last evening, and we may have overdone it since her RAS is now negative three. Right. Do we all agree that RAS negative one to zero is the best target for Linda? Yes. 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 I agree that's a good RAS for Linda. I want her awake and alert, and since her CPOT is one and her fentanyl stopped, I'll continue to assess her pain level and use the protocol to manage her pain. Linda's delirium is likely due to both sepsis and the fentanyl. Now that we've stopped the fentanyl, if she remains CAM positive, we may need to look into her cultures to see if they're covered appropriately, that her white count is coming down. And we also need to monitor her metabolic panel. So I'd like to get her moving. It'll also help with her sleep. Are we all in agreement so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. Great. So let's summarize. Linda is currently oversedated, delirious, and not in any pain. So let's get into these aspects in more detail, please. Let's begin. So Jerry, you just heard us tell you that Linda is very sedated, her fentanyl's been stopped, and she's tolerating her SAT. Her last ABG was excellent, so I think we'll be able to go straight into the SBT. Great, Debbie. Now I believe you and Vicki can move Linda toward extubation in the next couple of days. So Jerry, I've reviewed Linda's home medication list and I don't see anything that we need to start today. Um, her aspirate is still pending. So as soon as the results are available, I'll address any needed changes to her antibiotic regimen. And as discussed earlier, her delirium could have been related to the need to change antibiotics that were used to treat the infection. So I'll double check her medications to see if we have any that could increase risk for delirium. Wonderful. And I'll get started on my assessment and um, begin her with some uh, exercise and early mobilization. Okay. Wait, wait, what do you mean moving her? You're moving Linda? Yes, sir. Um, I'll be doing an assessment on Linda this morning with uh, Vicki and, and Debbie's collaboration. Um, we're going to check her level of activity. Now, we'll start with uh, her strength in her arms and, and her legs and then just kind of see if she can move on her own and go from there. Now, I know it sounds like we're, we're moving really quickly, but um, it, we, we kind of understand that it's best to get her, her progressing uh, a little bit more quickly and, and, and daily. And, and we might move a little bit slowly at first, but then we'll, we'll progress day to day. Okay. Right? And I promise we'll let you know everything along the way. Thanks. Jerry, do you have any other questions? We'd like to review the plan and ask you to assist us to complete the goals for today. Well, do you think it's okay if I would just hold her hand and maybe I could bring her some of her music? I mean, just let her know I'm here. Absolutely. You can hold her hand and talk to her. Hearing your voice and holding her hand will reassure her. And please feel free to bring in the music that, that she likes. So, Jerry and team... Our plan for today is Vicki will continue to assess pain and agitation and use protocol to manage both. Debbie and Vicki will coordinate the SBT, SBT later today and work toward getting the tube out. And Jessica will continue to monitor the cultures and results to ensure that we have the right antibiotics on board. Yep. 
Vicki and Elijah will assess and initiate the appropriate mobility level. So let's make sure we keep Miss Linda here comfortable and we will all reorient Linda to her surroundings. Anything I forgot. Thanks, so.